Um, are we playing? What's that got to do with time? Is it, like, time to kick my ass? We are going to remind Gale's son that it is past curfew. Coming up, is your air freshener secretly killing you? Good evening. Need what? Well, I didn't know what. It, yeah, okay. I see a couple of drawings over there. This was drawn not long ago. Print size seven. That's got to be his. <laughs> what about over there? No, it is locked. They did not go inside. So I guess you have like a scanning thing in your eyes. Yes, it allows me to see things that are not there anymore. Oh, so it's kind of like Nuke. They threw out the chalk. <laughs> What the fuck? That was close. We better hurry. Do it. Come on. And him. What are you waiting for? Fuck him up. He's laughing at you. Hey, what the hell's going on over there? Yo! Daniel! Oh no. It's the cops. I don't want to go to jail for this shit. Is that a gun? Oh, you're in so much trouble, kid. No, it's not. Whoa! What the hell? You're lucky that Tin Man here doesn't have a real heart. He'd have a hole in it right about now. Sorry, sir. You will be once your dad hears about this. My dad's missing, so he can't tell me nothing. My mom said that he's out on an assignment, but I know the truth. He's not coming back. Why'd you say that? He's always been a stickler for following the rules. I guess that's why he's missing. Cops can't shoot without giving a warning, and someone got the drop on him. But that's not gonna happen to me. I'm going to be the one that shoots first. That's why my friends say... Your friends are knuckleheads. If you listen to them, you're a knucklehead too. Come on. Sit down. We need to talk. Those friends of yours, they take the easy way out. You don't want to go down that road. It leads to a dark, lonely place. Do you know... Why your dad is such a stickler for the rules? Because he's a chump. Because it's the right thing to do. It's not always easy to do the right thing. It takes... strength. And you think my dad has that kind of strength? Are you kidding me? He even helped an ungrateful addict that he found in one of these buildings. And instead of writing him off, your father... Don't you think there's someone else who could... Mom. See? You can start by giving her this. She's looking for it. 
Is he going to arrest me? No. It's your first offense. So he'll let you off with a warning. Right? Right. It's late. Let's get you home. Well, you tell my mom about the gun? No. She doesn't like me already. Thanks for the help, Tin Man. I'll talk to you later. Hey, partner. What's the status on the old slaughterhouse? I had to take care of something. We can go there soon. Sure thing. Pick me up at the station when you're done. This is where Soot is supposed to be hiding. Can't really call it hiding if he sent invitations to the whole city. A bit Rudy forgot about us. At least I will not feel bad crashing his party. Murphy, I was thinking about what happened to you at the TV station. Maybe you shouldn't... No need for alarm. Becker's chip is keeping my circuits in check. You're more than just circuits, Murphy. Underneath all that metal, there's still you. Alex Murphy is gone. He lost his life. And despite that burden, you carry on. You've done more for this city dead than anyone has alive. That has to count for something. Uh, I'm gonna shut up now. Just take this little something to remind you of what I've just said. Open it the next time Becker gets under your skin. Also, don't forget you have a partner who's counting on you. Concert in an old slaughterhouse? I suppose it fits those animals. The place looks deserted. Are you sure your junkie friend didn't mix up the venues? He is the type who likes to mix things up. We shall have to see. We cannot go this way. We would need a warrant. I can't believe those stupid directives are still holding you back. <clears throat> go ahead, partner. Oh, the stench. Someone missed potty training. Great performer. Shouldn't there be a big line in here? Regardless of his vocal abilities, I still want to see him sing. hear some commotion on the other side. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh shit! Pig Thunder Lab! Why can't you give us a fucking break? Justice never sleeps.
That is when having a conversational partner comes in handy. Hey there, Murphy. Behind you. Uh, up you get, big man. They're closing in on us. Wait! Don't worry, partner. We'll stay in contact. I hear music. We're getting close. I've got eyes on the stage. Looks like you haven't realized we're here yet. Sook's here. Get closer. I'll support you from the balcony. This music is driving me mad. Is that the point? Is it supposed to make you mad?
I, I can still... This can't be. I had everything lined up perfectly! Let us talk. Stay the fuck away! You can't touch me! I do business with the new guy! You seem to know a lot about him. You're not getting anything out of me! Do you know how many cops I've killed? I ain't scared of you. Besides, I'm pumped up with nuke like a freaking power plant! Then, get ready for a meltdown. You think you're gonna get it? That's quite a grip you got there! Is that supposed to scare me? Not a single scratch. <laughs> yourself out! That's not even mine! Hey! That stuff doesn't come cheap! No! That was the only thing in my collection that I didn't steal! I freaking hate you! Until every pig in Detroit is dead. That's enough. I'll talk. Lewis, I have soot. He is ready to give me his statement about the new guy. Wouldn't you rather hear it from the man himself? Where is Officer Lewis? She's outside, right next to me. We're having a nice citizen officer chat. Um, why don't you take? My rising star, and join us, so we can exchange partners. Hey! What the hell are you doing now? The new guy is here. You are coming with me. In that case, giddy up! You even feel the fear. Because you should be crapping in your pants right now. You have stepped into a big freaking mess. Cleaning? Uh, that was an awesome concert. If it wasn't for you, they would have never have guessed it was all on playback. When it's a flu, I take no, no, no. Everywhere I look, I see no. My left hip is getting a bit numb. Can we swap sides? What are we stopping for? Huh? Has your battery drained or something? Now, me and your partner here are growing impatient. Why don't you hurry up? Piggy's scared of a meat hook. <laughs> Lewis? I'm all right, Murphy. Drop your weapon. You are under arrest. Oh, I don't think you're reading this situation correctly. <laughs> Thanks for the ride, big guy. Ah, it's the new guy in town. Welcome to Detroit. I assume you've seen our little TV spot, short and sweet. You know the first rule of show business and drug dealing, right? Leave them wanting more. That's a writer you got there. <clears throat> Murphy? Something wrong, cop. Hey, so. I think it's time to get back to business. 
You fucking idiot. Your stupid stunt put a spotlight on me. Oh, well, you want to talk business? Here's a free lesson. You never, ever fuck with the money. <laughs> Murphy, what's happening? Now that we've got that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Wendell Antonowski. I believe you've met my brother before. <laughs> my brother really did a number on you, didn't he? But, thanks to him, you've been given this great opportunity. What the fuck are you doing to him? There are people who would do anything to be in your position, to have your abilities. And yet, you attach yourself to something that is the weakest in you, to the part that's still human. Imagine the pristine life you could lead without the things that limit you. Murphy, don't let him get inside your head! Like her. No attachments, no leverage. I admit, when I first heard that you were the reason my idiot brother was dead, huh, I was furious. But then I got to thinking, why would I let anyone have such power over me. So I let it go. And now, I'm here to help you do the same. This is not an act of revenge. This is a gift. Fuck you, scumbag! Lewis! Another fucking glitch. What a shit show. Everything's ready. Switching back on already. Lewis! Oh, Robo. Calm down. He'll tear the equipment apart. Wendell Antonowski ran away and Lewis is in the hospital. What did you do? Just stand there and watch it as it happened? I want to see her. She's in surgery as we speak, so that's not gonna happen. Instead, you're gonna go through with your psych evaluation. Let me go! The old man wasn't happy that I let you skip your first session and was adamant that I make sure you attend this one. Especially since the problem of you malfunctioning is obviously persistent. So, Doctor, do your thing. What? Now? He's in no shape to be examined. I'm afraid that I must insist. This is highly unprofessional. I need to apprehend Wendell. I don't think you understand your options, Shiny, in that you don't have any. You either comply or you'll be dismantled. I'm only really rooting for one of these options. Very well. Doctor? If this is supposed to resemble a therapy session in any way, I need everyone that isn't my client to leave. That is not negotiable. And is it necessary to have him restrained? That's for your safety. What if he loses control? <sighs> exactly. If anything goes wrong, just use this reset button. One press, and he goes back to La La Land. Okay, let's leave the good doctor to work. And Robo, see me after this is over. I'm sorry it has to look like this. Are you at least sitting comfortably enough to have this conversation? My partner was shot. You do. But I think you'll agree. I understand this is not an- I'm not the only one unwilling to be here. Your heart rate is above- You're equipped with a heart rate monitor? It does. I agree this whole thing is happening rather fast, so how about we start again? Naturally, I've heard people refer to you by different names, but I'm- my name is Alex Murphy. Then I'll call you Alex Murphy. I've worked with many police officers, but I think we can both agree that you are no ordinary...
I am a cybernetic organism. So we can't rule out that your actions are... But that's something that I've already learned from the reports. What Perceive? Yes. See, what I found immensely helpful in... This is how I see... Thank you for making this... Now that you see me the way I am, do you wish to push the reset button? No. Not at all. You're not the only one here with prosthetic body parts. Some time ago, I was a victim of a crime. A thief broke in... And Ed-209 reacted to the call. Since that day, I have become... Let Do you... F I fear the unpredictability. So when I heard there was a chance to contribute to the research on the stability, getting that off my chest made me feel a bit better. How about you check my pulse? It has dropped below 120... You see, I don't just impose things onto my clients. I, I think that makes for... Thank you, Al... Done. Robo, there's something I need to show you. I know that OCP can be a real pain in the ass, but this might change your mind a bit. We've been working behind the scenes on giving your sidearm the treatment it deserves. The Auto 9 can now be equipped with a motherboard. Once the motherboard is in, you'll be able to mount a number of processors on it. Each processor can vat- See for yourself. Be on the lookout. There's OCP tech in everything. You wouldn't believe how many useful processes can be salvaged from old devices. Okay, that's it for me. Becker wants to see Any news on Luis? Not yet. But she's been through worse. Hey, Murphy! Do you have a... Did you say... Yeah. Forget... Yeah, it's just... I am sure she... Uh, thanks. Actually, there are a few... I just start... Understood. What are you doing? Nothing much. Would you sign the get well card? Uh, yeah, there you but Understand. Thanks, Murph. Kurtz hasn't signed it yet. As he said, my heat sick. Oh, uh, you talking to me? I have a call. Uh, uh. Oh.
There you go. Thanks. Uh, just uh, give me a minute. There. You are. Yeah. I would. I'm telling you, Magnavo commercials are not kidding. They say. Shit. Is everything I think my service weapon I could pro Yeah. I guess you don't have any problems with it. Your service weapon. Yeah. What is the? I can't lie. I wanted to come. Officer. It's just that Lewis is. But it is. Is there anything I? You can sign. Sure. Almost. Is Murphy, do you have a minute? I noticed you running around the precinct. I am collecting signatures on a get well card for Lewis. I know, I ride everyone hard, but I do care. We are, you should, right. Thank you for this opportunity, Mr. Becker. Uh, you are very determined. I assume they were getting... Huh, that didn't stop you, did it? You're persistent, aside from the fact that you don't meet any of the physical requirements. Unfortunately, sir. Why is being a cop so... My father was a police officer. A uh, police family, huh? You know, I have the power to look the other way. In exchange, I only ask for one thing. Will I still get a badge? Like a badge? Then Officer Washington is reporting for duty. Good. Is... We don't make a badge for every new officer, we just... Or die. Bro? Well, that's great, because you'll be... Meaning? Aside from his regular dispatch duty... Overseer. Yes, you will report to me on his every action. His recent behavior cast... That's a lot of responsibility. Every other cop refused this post. I would like to proceed with my investigation. Was he even listening to any? Absolutely fucking not. You're... There's a bunch of documents that need archiving in the record. Understood. Now go. It's Ulysses, sir. Hey, first rule, kiddo. Never question your superiors. 